this is the newly updated Hyundai Ioniq 5, the RVD version with the big battery, updated battery pack with 77.4 kilowatt hours of gross capacity. Today, it's time to test range, consumption, acceleration, and noise. And welcome to It's Only Electric. Let's start with my 80 kilometers long test cycle with the mixed speeds between 50 all the way up to 110 kilometers per hour an average speed of 93 kilometers per hour and let's see if we can beat the VLTP range or achieve the VLTP range close to 10 degrees outside dry roads so pretty good conditions for scoring a good result when it comes to range and consumption I'm now sitting inside the Ionic 5 have been driving for seven kilometers this is my own cycle, test cycle of 80 kilometers. So for you guys that haven't watched my earlier videos, I do this cycle for all the cars. I test for more than one day. Normally, I always try to uh, land the press cars for at least three days, normally between three up to one week. So that's how I want to do it, to, to get to know the car uh, enough. So the test is based on an 80 kilometer uh, trip, always the same, with an average speed of 93 kilometers per hour. So it's speeds between 50 all the way up to 110 kilometers per hour. The average speed is 93 kilometers per hour. I always set the cabin temperature to 20 degrees, AC running on automatic. Uh, echo mode activated so I try to use the same settings or as good settings as possible to achieve a good range of course and a low consumption so let's see what this test will end up with uh, currently the average consumption is 22.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer 223 watt hours per kilometer in Tesla language I hope I will be able to achieve a consumption that's under 17 at least. I hope so. It should be possible with this car. Should be a, this is an effective car. So I hope it will live up to my expectations. Uh, let's see about that. So I will report during the trip. A brief update. 26.6 kilometers traveled. Uh, some light rain for the moment. I hope it will go away, but the roads are still kind of dry, I would say. Average consumption, 200 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, nine, 199 now, so it will most likely continue to drop. And I just calculated that if I can achieve a consumption under 150 watt hours per kilometer i will be able to match the vltp range feels a bit far away for the moment but uh, let's see about that soon i will check back in uh, on halfway it's still light rain so this will probably affect the consumption in a negative way consumption is down to 187 watt hours per kilometer so it's still going down soon hitting halfway so 40 kilometers there is a slight like pouring or ticking sound coming from the b pillar when it rains it's a bit annoying feels like or it sounds like water is pouring into the cabin of course it's not but something is making sound during rain a bit strange and by the way i love these uh, comfort plus seats they are really supportive a bit stiff but in a good way stiff and supportive it gives you a good support both in the back and on the seating part uh, and that's by the way is because i'm crossing the line uh, the lane assist system warns me and pushes me back into the lane works good so back to the seats really nice comfort uh, supportive a bit stiff but in a good way as I said so I would really recommend 
the Comfort Plus package for the Ionic 5. Uh, I think it's worth the money. It gives you some extra luxury and especially in this nice bright leather combination looks really uplifting and makes the cabin feel more happy and easygoing. I'm back. The range and consumption test is done. Uh, the average consumption for the whole trip is 181 watt hours per kilometer. That gives us a range of 409 kilometers on a full charge. That's a bit far from the VLTP range. That states 507 kilometers. But keep in mind that it was not optimal conditions. Semi-wet roads, I would say, because it started to rain halfway into the test cycle. So half of the trip was on semi-damped uh, road conditions and in a average temperature of 9 degrees Celsius. So still a okay result. So one thing that really punishes the range of the Ionic 5 is the drag coefficient. The exterior nice looking design is uh, unfortunately not the perfect design for creating a car with a low drag coefficient so the drag coefficient is 0 0.288 that's uh, pretty high and you see that when you drive in higher speeds so the 110 kilometers per hour stretches really raised the consumption a lot so in lower speeds, city driving, speeds below 100 or speeds below 90 kilometers per hour will really give this car a lot more range. So high speeds are punishing the Ionic 5. That's pretty obvious. So let's move on to the acceleration test. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and 0 to 60 miles per hour and see if it can match its specs. First 0 to 100 test, state of charge 84%. Let's go. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 7.26 seconds. Zero to 100 cape time 7.68 seconds. It's time for test number two. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 7.05 seconds. Zero to 100 cave time 7.45 seconds. That's damn close to spec. 7.45 seconds. I think specified zero to 100 time is 7.4. I will do one more run and see what happens. Okay, so the third test. Now I'm gonna hold the brake with my left foot and then press the accelerator because there is a slight delay. Don't know why, but let's try this way. Go. Much better. A lot better start now. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 6.98 seconds. Zero to 100 cape time 7.38 seconds. That's it. 7.38 seconds zero to 100 kilometers per hour i needed to press the brake pedal with my left foot and the accelerator with my right foot and then let go of the brake then i get a much better time so as you all saw the third run gave me a zero to 100 kilometers per hour time of 7.38 seconds good job hyundai uh, and that gives us a time of 6.98 seconds for 0 to 60 miles per hour. That's a decent time. I mean, it's a real wheel drive car with 229 horsepower. It's fun to drive. It's uh, more than enough power and torque. So good job. Now to the final part, and that's uh, the noise levels. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with a boring video about 
driving around silently measuring the noise so i have prepared that for you this is the table uh, that shows you the different noise levels in the different speeds 50 70 90 and 110 kilometers per hour and i must say that it is a silent car it's on the same level as the bmw ix3 it's a bit more noisy than the neo et5 and the byd han but very close to those cars it's more silent than the tesla model y so the cabin noise is on a decent level i think it's a silent car it's comfortable to drive around in and as i said earlier i really love the comfort plus seats it's a really good addition to the car i would go for this package uh, if i was going to order the ionic 5 uh, and just to summarize all in all great car uh, silent decent range at least in slower speeds and good acceleration 7.4 seconds more than enough a good package i think that sums it all give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that will really help me to create more content like this and to put time into more tests and different cars on the market uh, i have a lot of cars booked before the summer so i'm planning to do a lot of videos uh, for the upcoming weeks so stay tuned and as usual always stay electric thank you for watching speak to you soon